All right, so I'm sure a lot of you guys noticed that this morning we got a absolutely massive Tata download on Global. In fact, I think it was close to a gigabyte, right? Or at least over 900 megabytes, which is a lot of data. So in this video, we're gonna find out exactly what we got from this huge data download. But before that, I wanna give a shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all these assets. I'm sure this one in particular took some extra effort. You know, it probably took a lot of time. So if you guys aren't already following him, then definitely go ahead and do so. And uh, with that said, let's scroll down a little bit here and start with the new promo movie for Global's next Dokkan Fest unit, which is going to be GT Pan. So let me just pause my music here and enjoy. And there you have it. GT Pan is coming to global, guys. I know that the uh, you know response has been kind of mixed. Some people are still pretty excited just because you know she's a very unique and uh, powerful unit. But on the other hand, you can only get so hyped because it is Pan after all. But nonetheless, I will be summoning for her. So uh, keep an eye out for that summoning video in like 24 hours or so and uh, from there we have the assets for the pan herself there is the ssr as well as the tur and uh, the side unit for her banner which is going to be this trunks and giru so there's the ssr and also the tur and after that we have her dokan event there's the pan dokan event and the dokan awakening medal we have uh an Awakening and Extreme Z Awakening for the Strike AGL Kid Vegeta. So there is the Kid Vegeta, and those are his uh, Extreme Z Awakening medals. And on top of that, we have the uh, new stages for his Strike event, stages 3 and 4. And after that, we have two other Extreme Z Awakenings for the Tech Super Saiyan GT Goku and the STR Hyper Meta Rildo. So there's the Goku and his Awakening Medal. There's the uh, Rildo and the Awakening Medal. And those are their Extreme Z Awakening Medals. And uh, these are the new stages for the Extreme Z area event as well. And uh, we're also getting a new Extreme Super Battle stage, stage 33, Time Travelers Only, which basically looks like every other stage. And uh, we have a new Dokkan Festival ticket for the GT Pan Banner. And I believe everything after this is, uh, yeah, untranslated assets. Okay, so basically, everything I've covered so far is what's coming for this upcoming campaign, right? Which is starting on uh, October 4th at 6.30 a.m. GMT. If you guys need to know what that is for your time zone, just plug it into Google and it should give you a conversion, right? So 6.30 a.m. GMT on October 4th, and I think that applies to everything here including the pan let me just quickly check uh yeah 6 30 a.m gmt october 4th so there you have it and the reason that this data download was so massive is because most of it is for you know assets of units events characters and stuff like that that are not ready for release yet every once in a while they like to just dump a bunch of assets into the global database that will be released at some point in the future, but uh, not for the current campaign, right? So for example, we got stuff like this uh, King Vegeta, which is the awakening for the Strike Vegeta, or King Vegeta rather, as well as the awakening for the Grandpa Gohan, which is the awakening uh, for the you know Strike Grandpa Gohan, I think. Actually, I think that's what it is. Anyways, yeah, two free-to-play Awakenings right there, as well as the assets for the LR Golden Frieza. So there is the SSR, there's the TUR, and there is the LR Golden Frieza. And once again, 
not ready for release yet, not translated, but uh, he will probably be coming at some point this year or early next year, right? So they're just preparing for their releases. And we also have the uh, assets for the Gallic Gun, uh, Vegeta and Trunks. There's the SSR, TUR, and also LR. And I know that this is one that a lot of people are uh, saving their stones for, and rightfully so, because this is uh, one of maybe still the best unit in the game. I know that there's some differing opinions on that, but at the very least, this unit is, you know, top five, top three on everybody's list. So definitely a unit you will want to save stones for. So yeah, we got the Trunks and Vegeta. We got the uh, Goku Black here, which is going to be, I think, the side unit for the Merge Zamasu banner, if I remember correctly. But yeah, this is the Merge Zamasu LR. There's the, well, there's the SSR. There's the TUR. And there's the LR as well. Another LR you want to save your stones for. And then we have uh, a couple of assets for the LR, Tien, and Chiaotzu, the new one, the free-to-play one. There's the SSR, there's the TUR, and there is the LR, Tien, and Chiaotzu. And then we have the uh, summonable Chilai. So there's SSR for Chilai and TUR, and she is one of the more unique units in the game. Uh, she doesn't do a lot of damage, that's for sure, but she basically does everything else. You know, she can heal, she can dodge, she can support. Um, I mean, as far as I can remember, she does like everything outside of damage. So a pretty cool unit right there, along with the uh, new Fasha, which is also going to be part of that Peppy Gauss banner with the Chilai. And we have uh, some new chain battle bosses. We have a Merge Zamasu, as well as an Oceanus Shenron, and some non-translated Extreme Z battle events as well. So. That's the Extreme Z Battle, of course, for the Tech Vegito Blue and the STR Rose. That's for the LR Trunks and Mai. That's for the LR Rose and Zamasu. I can't wait for this one. And also for the uh, GT Trio. And this one is for a bunch of different Pepe Gal units, like the, um, you know, Chi Chi, uh, Rebrian, and uh, so on and so forth, right? And uh, we also have non-translated support memories. This one with uh, Krillin and the Dragon Ball, and this one with Bulma, and some Awakening Medals too. So that's the Dokken Awakening Medal for the Trunks and Vegeta. Uh, we got all the Extreme Z Awakening Medals for all the EZAs we were just talking about. So you guys can see them right there. I'm gonna just quickly scroll through these because, you know, there's nothing too crazy here. Oh, Extreme Z Awakening Medals for the uh, Golden Frieza and Sorbet. Uh, for the King Vegeta, for the Grandpa Gohan, and uh, we also have this untranslated rainbow ticket, which is going to be available during the Thank You Celebration in November, and uh, also the Thank You Banner, or it was the Tanabata Banner on JP, right? But Thank You Banner for us, and as you can see, it's about the same as before, like previous years, where we get the Anniversary LRs along with the new LR, which is going to be the Trunks and Vegeta, and uh, also the Tech LR Gogeta in the back as well. So it looks like it's going to be a pretty sick banner. Of course, there will be a lot of featured units like they always do, so the rates of pulling an individual LR is going to be pretty low, but there will be a lot of very good units featured on the banner. So it might be one that, uh, you know, you want to have some stones for as well. And after that, we have uh, some Peton battle assets. So you got the card packs right there. We have uh, a bunch of new cards, which are currently not available from Series 8. So I'll quickly scroll through these as well for you guys. There you go. Oh, what is this? Oh, okay. They just didn't load. Okay, so yeah, more cards. UI Goku, uh, Kill and Khalifla, Tien and Roshi, and so on and so forth. There's the UI Goku. And we have some more scripted event assets for like story events, for Dokkan events, and so on and so forth. So these are Kid Gohans, as you can see. We got a Krillin. We got a couple of Tians for his uh, Prime Battle event. We got a couple of new Zarbons. A couple of Dodorias. A Nail. Some Vegetas. 
in the same pose, just with like different expressions and scouter slash no scouter. And then we have a Grandpa Gohan, a King Vegeta, a couple of Super Saiyan Blue Vegetas from the um, LR art, as well as Nays, DT Trunks, a bunch of pans. There you go. Uh, Melee, okay. Ola. Uh, some future trunkses from the LR as well. A random Giru. And also this uh, random event background. So there you have it, guys. Um, those are, as far as I can see, as far as Proton posted, all the assets from this data download. I know it was a lot of stuff, but that's why this data download was so huge. That's why it was close to a gigabyte, right? So in case you were curious about why, you know, it was such a big data download, this was the reason. They were just dumping a bunch of assets for upcoming events, upcoming, you know, units for future releases. Uh, most of this stuff will be available this year, like later in the year, but some of them I think will be scheduled for early next year, like January, February, because uh, I think there are too many assets or too many units here to release before the end of 2022, but uh, yeah, there you have it guys. That was the data download. And of course, we also got some uh, data for like the new update on global. I think it was 5.6.1. And let me just quickly check if I missed anything here. Okay, yeah, we're doing a lot of scrolling. We're almost there. Almost there. Get to the top here. So I can check what Proton wrote on the top here. He says, uh, yeah, new promo movie, app update 5.6.1, tech GT pin, int, GT trunks and Giru, awakenings and easy gaze for these three units, new extreme super battle road stage, uh, Dokkan festival ticket, and also several non-translated assets, which uh, we saw, right? So that's it guys. That is the data download update. Uh, of course, a big shout out once again to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting everything. I know it probably took a very long time, so we really appreciate it. And uh, that's all from me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Video, signing out.